The WHI study, Women's Health Initiative study of 16,000 women caused quite a uh, stir among the media because it showed a slight increase in the risk of cancer in women who were on hormone replacement therapy. Subsequent to that time, after much evaluation and uh, dissection of the original research, it was found that the WHI study was done with synthetic hormones and that perhaps bioidentical hormones would not show this effect. There have been multiple studies with bioidentical hormones since that time that indicate that bioidentical hormones do not share the same problems that synthetic hormones do. Dr. Patty, one of the world's really foremost educators uh, and uh, practicing physicians in the field of hormone replacement therapy, is with us in Orlando, Florida to discuss not just the beneficial effects of hormone replacement therapy, but the beneficial effects of bioidentical hormone therapies. So the question of why replace hormones, I think becomes pretty obvious. Every single organ in the body has a receptor for all of these hormones we're talking about. Every brain cell, every heart cell, and every skin cell. And every passing year, from 25 on, we start to see a real decline of these hormones. This is the profile that we see in women. Insulin and cortisol go up, but all the other hormones decline steadily. And so no wonder the hormone deficiencies actually cause a host of symptoms, which you see on the right side, hot flashes, vaginal atrophy, loss of energy, but also years later when we start to experience the lack of stimulation to those organs, we start to see the diseases, the bone loss, the cognitive loss, the strokes. Um, and what we have to ask ourselves for those people asking, well, how safe is it really to use hormone replacement? You have to ask yourself, well, how safe is it really not to? The medical standard of care is to replace and restore what is missing with what is missing. You're missing thyroid, you replace the thyroid. So why is it that we're so confused about the hormone deficiencies? If you think about the syndrome we're talking about, it really spans and can span symptomatically for 30 years. Progesterone deficiency being first, causing anxiety, irritability, and PMS type symptoms 10 to 15 years before menopause. Estrogen causing hot flashes, some people a year or two, but there will be a host of patients who you're going to find with symptoms and hot flashes all the way until 25 years later. Testosterone causing loss of libido. But let's focus a little bit more on this progesterone. Progesterone actually is the first to go, and many of you will notice that these symptoms, lighter sleep, mood swings, anxiety, breast cysts, ovarian cysts, because progesterone has an anti-proliferative effect, worse PMS, mid-abdominal weight gain, even low sex drive and hot flashes. So of course, I'm going to say that we should, n should be replacing these hormones. But in order to put you at ease, and anybody at ease, whether it's a patient or a doctor writing a prescription, you have to understand how to A, decipher the WHI study and figure out what lessons we actually did learn, and B, what kind of data there is on the hormones, bioidentical hormones that we purport may be better. So as far as the WHI study, it was a 16,000 woman study, average age 63, with memory study, average age 71. Um, they found seven more heart attacks, 18 more clots, eight more strokes, eight more breast cancers, fewer colon cancers, fewer hip fractures, and a 21% reduction in diabetes, which was also reflected in the nurse's health study. You have to ask yourself why. If I just said that, well, hormones should be protective, why would they find that? Could it be because they had too many women with pre-existing disease? Could it be because they used the wrong hormone ratios? Or that they used the oral route? Or that they were using a progestin instead of a natural progesterone? Progestin is not the same as bioidentical progesterone. It has an extra molecule on it. And if you look at the WHI results here, the top column being estrogen progestin and the bottom without the progestin, what you find is that the breast cancer risk was almost significantly decreased and the cardiac risk was also decreased. This is consistent with four other studies.
the breast cancer demonstration project had an eight-fold increase in breast cancer when they used progestin with the estrogen. The Swedish record review had a three-fold increase. The million women study had a two-fold increase. They were using progestin. They added it to the estrogen and that's what they got. But what do we know data-wise on bioidentical progesterones? First of all, quality of life is way better. It's preferred by women, improved mood, anxiety, less bleeding, better sleep. And I can tell you, anybody here who has switched a woman from a synthetic to a bioidentical progesterone knows what we're talking about here. Um, lowers cancer risk, British Journal of Cancer and Cancer Research, so bioidentical progesterone decreases proliferation of breast cells. It also lowers cardiac risk because bioidentical progesterone vasodilates, that's a Journal of American College of Cardiology 2000, increases nitric oxide compared to the progestin, which does exactly the opposite. So I think that we can conclude that we should be using a bioidentical progesterone. So when we ask ourselves and people ask us, well, what about that big study? Well, guess what? We learned a couple of things from that big study. Start early. Mimic the normal ratios. Use a transdermal route and don't use estrone necessarily and don't use an oral route and use a bioidentical progesterone. In fact, they caught on. The new study that they're doing that's coming up on the horizon is studying these hormones in younger women, transdermal estradiol, micronized progesterone. So I think they got the picture. Many women are very concerned about uh, hormone replacement therapy, whether it be synthetic or bioidentical hormones. And as a public service, the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine maintains a library of recent research and abstracts on its official website, www.worldhealth.net, literally hundreds of published papers specifically on the topics of hormones, hormone replacement therapy, uh, prevention uh, with bioidentical hormones. And this is a free resource for anyone who would like to learn more. And I urge you to learn as much as you can because the life you save will be your own.